I'll help you. We need to speed up. We need to speed up. <clears throat> oh, don't worry. Why are you doubling? <laughs> <laughs> we need to speed up, babe. But if you don't back up from my food. <laughs> Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different You must be made for me Patience is never thin Good morning everyone It's Chandler Alexis and welcome back That was a fail of putting my hair by my ear Welcome back to another weekly vlog i know you guys have missed me because y'all have flooded my dms literally attacking me attacking me to post another vlog no i'm kidding you guys aren't no you guys actually are attacking me but in a loving way i know you guys want the content i know you want the vlogs i want to post more as well but y'all the past like few weeks i've just had a lot of stuff going on as far as like um with Adam's birthday, visiting family, that kind of stuff. And then also, I feel like a lot of times, whenever I don't really know what I wanna post, whether like, okay, basically, I'll go into like moments where I'm like, do I wanna post a vlog or do I wanna post like a sit down video? And then the week will have already gone through, like today's Tuesday, right? If I didn't have something going on today, I probably wouldn't have vlogged and then it would have got to Wednesday and then in my mind, I would have been like, it's Wednesday. I'm not going to start a weekly vlog in the middle of the week. So I'd wait longer to do it. And then by time I'm like, damn, I should have filmed a weekly vlog. <laughs> it's the end of the week. And then y'all seem to like not like my daily vlogs. Like what's up with that? Y'all are like, we need more content. We're like, we need more, more minutes, more minutes. It needs to be longer. <laughs> so I'm like, damn, now I'm afraid to post like a daily vlog either because i feel like it's just gonna be a waste of my time filming it or even editing that and then like posting it and y'all don't even want to see that so <laughs> i don't have any oh i feel bad this person's asking for money usually i would give it to them but i don't actually don't have any coins i yeah, know i don't have any i think crew stole all of our, all of our coins so yeah, y'all not fucking with the daily vlogs, I guess. So I don't want to post them. And then y'all are just like harassing me even more. So I'm like, let me just give y'all what you want. I know it's the weekly vlogs, but I need to have something going on more than just like family stuff and like relaxing. Anyways, like I said, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is going to be such a fun day. I am currently on my way to Manchester for two events not one but two and it's a tuesday usually on a tuesday crew doesn't have school and i have to stay home to watch him and i end up not being able to go to my events and missing out on them and there's not even a lot of events in the uk as compared as there is to like the, to la but any of the events i usually want to go to adam usually has a game or he has practice or whatever and i'm not able to make them however today i'm able to go because we found like a babysitter slash nanny it's not really a babysitter it's like a daycare there you go we found a daycare so outside of his like normal school like his nursery that he goes to we found us another daycare that watches him on in case we ever have to like you know do anything else so today was his first day he wasn't happy at all i felt a little bad because he was not trying to go but i'm like man i'm not trying to miss these events like i finally get to go back to work and like work with brands and network and stuff like i need to get my feet back in the door you know what i mean so that's where i'm currently on my way to we've got two brand events today we've got new look and i'm doing a gifting suite with them which is really fun because my style that i've adapted recently is really similar to new looks like clothing items that they have like i know i'm for sure gonna find something that i really like there um for like what my style is now and you guys can kind of see it now like what my it's more classy right i'm not showing so much skin anymore as i used to when i was like living in la but that's our first event super excited for that and then after that my second event is with Ico which is a makeup brand and they're doing like a Pilates class for the girls so I'm super excited for that I love Pilates and I love a good makeup brand so 
that's what we got going on. I'll be in Manchester all day until like four or five-ish and then I'll probably get something to eat and go home. Adam's picking crew up from daycare so I don't have to worry about that, which is really nice. The sun is behind me now, but that's what's going on today. I will see y'all at the event because I'm on the motorway now and I don't really want to vlog while driving, so. See you there. And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Being felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, Jazzy. I made it. It's so cute. We literally just get to go shopping. I get to pick out five items and then there's like goodies at the end as well. So, so many options. I am thinking I want to go like business casual for my choices. They've got jeans. They've got stuff for like um, holiday as well to look at. Ooh, this dress is cute. Yeah, I am. Hi, Frankie. Hi, right. nice Jess. To meet Lovely you. to meet you. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I've just spoken and talked to you about the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah? she did. Perfect. Yeah. Well, enjoy. Hopefully, you. you find some bits you like. Yeah, yeah thank you. Let me help. Thank you so much. That's all right. Thank you. You're welcome. So cute in here. This location is. Ooh, this is cute for holiday for vacation soon Oops. this store is way bigger than the new look that's near my house oh yeah these are cute you see them i don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus on them but they're so cute i think i'm gonna do this cream one medium okay i'm gonna shop and then we're gonna go try them on so i'll vlog then Red, but he spank me when I get bad. I'm in LA, Vontale Drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm a Barbie girl. Pink Barbie dream house. The way can be killing shit. I'm yelling out like a scream house. I can finally give y'all an outfit of the day while I'm in here. But this is my outfit. I'm wearing my green Converse with these like green cargo slouchy pants. Really cute. This white button up with a green top underneath and you see my outfits are becoming more like i don't know y'all let me know what the style is what my vibe is in this outfit okay but this is like my style i want to boost it up a little bit more i think these pieces that i picked out to try on are going to definitely help me determine what that style is so let's try on some cute pieces Okay, this is the first outfit. I love these pants. I think they're so cute, the fit of them. And it's definitely giving elevated. But the top, I don't know, if, I feel like the top is a little boxy for this fit. That's making it look kind of manly on me. What do we think? I think I'm gonna try on a different top. Okay, this is the next outfit I'm trying on. I don't know, y'all. I like the pants. I like that they're like capri pants at the bottom. But this top i feel like makes me look like a school teacher <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that but i'm not a school teacher so i don't think this is the one for me and i also think these pants are cute but i don't think i'd wear them now at the age i'm at i feel like they kind of age me because they're like full-on like mom jeans like i'd wear these like maybe in my 30s but i'm not there yet okay, next outfit i put this top back on just to try on the blazer and stuff but this blazer is really cute I'm just not sure how I would style it because with this outfit, I wouldn't wear it like this. These pants are also cute. They're just skinny jeans. However, I just don't like when I have like that extra bit of fabric there just because I'm guessing they should be higher. I don't know, but that's not my favorite. However, I do like that they make my butt look really nice. Like they do have that effect. But I think I'm gonna pass on these jeans. I think I might get the blazer. I just need to find a way to style it back home yeah. you wanna come along? yes please i just left the new look event and it was so fun like even though it was just basically like shopping the girls there that worked there or that worked for like the company that did the gifting suite they were so nice i literally was like just having conversation with them and one of the girls invited me to 
I'm really excited and I'm really grateful that she liked me enough to say, hey, like I'd love to have you attend. So I'm gonna hear from my manager about that. But yeah, now I'm heading over to the ICO event. I'm actually running late because they are actually quite far from each other. Well, they're only like five miles apart, but for some reason it says it's gonna take 20 minutes to get there. I'm not good at like math and driving, so I don't know if that's normal or if that's because there's gonna be traffic on the way there. But I'm going to end up being about 15 minutes late since I did the gifting um, suite at New Look, which is okay. I think I'll be all right because the girls have to like change into like they got us like yoga sets like um gym wear to change into so i'm sure like the girls are gonna be taking time to do that um probably mingling and meeting each other as well so i think i'll be all right fingers crossed i'll be okay but if anyone from the ico event watches this or my management watches this i'm so sorry i'm late <laughs> we'll get there i'll see y'all there though because now it's raining like my fit my hair my makeup does not match <laughs> the weather that it is right now it was sunny earlier i know y'all seen that when i was like the sun's behind me and now it's pouring rain, so that's great. Oh my god, now I recorded that entire thing in slow motion. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we're ready. Oh, Guys, we made it to the second event. We're at ICO, and now I've got on my cute gear, ready for Pilates. So cute outside. Let me show you guys. Let's try this one more time. This first time was in slow motion. Vince Carter was on some food and legs on me, no 
Drinking hypnotic with Glenn Lewis, I've been through it. Y'all was so afraid to lay claim to it. Too busy face screwing on waist movements. You was riding TTC Metro, I had the place booming. First take. I am just leaving the Pilates class. It was bar Pilates. And when I tell you that, that was one of the hardest classes I have ever taken. Y'all, I, I got cramps, okay? I got a cramp in both of my, my calves. I was about to say my thighs. Both of my calves, I caught a cramp. And then when we were finished, we started stretching. My foot also got a cramp. So that's how, you know, well, first of all, I need to drink more water. Even though I had this big old bottle with me that I specifically, I've been drinking it all day, but I brought it with me to have in class. And then I forgot it right and I was like well it is Pilates class they'll have water for you and when I went in they had water bottles for us and they did have water for us you guys but me with my anxious self the bottles didn't have water in them but the place that they had the event at it was like a gym like a like a place you would take workout classes at do you get what I'm saying so I knew they had to have water like a water fountain somewhere in there but I was so anxious to ask that I just didn't. <laughs> so I did half the workout before I got up because another girl got up and asked where water was. I was like, oh, I'm gonna just tag along with her. So I just went behind her and was like, where is it? <laughs> and then I got water. But I did half the workout without water. So I was really thirsty and probably dehydrated, which is why I probably got a cramp. So that happened. I've learned that I don't think I'm like a Pilates girl. Like I think it's really good for those of you who are at least like pilates bar maybe i could do like reform pilates i've done like normal pilates you guys know i used to do it when we lived back in um cheshire i used to do pilates all the time but those are like it's kind of like yoga but like a little deeper version of yoga so i liked that one as well it's kind of like stretching but like holding stretches in like workout positions i don't know if that makes sense but that one was okay for me too this one was like movement like constant movement and like I don't know it was just hard it was hard okay it was hard and so I don't think I'm a fan of that one it hurt so bad <laughs> but they did give us some um, these smoothies after it is um what's in here coconut I think I got the flavor vanilla and I can taste the protein and I'm pretty sure it's protein they put in it you can taste it um it's good Again, you guys know I don't really like like the health kick stuff, but it's decent. They gave us that. That was really nice of them. Also, earlier at New Look, y'all, I got a chocolate covered strawberries. I think I showed y'all, but I've been eating them. And I ate them right before the class. Maybe that's where I messed up. That was probably a bad idea. But they were so good. I'm even going to finish them now because I'm hungry. I haven't ate anything besides breakfast this morning when I was at home. I'm back home finally. That drive was hell. But Crew wants to make some hot chocolate. So he said I could vlog him making it. Pool, is it stuck? You want me to help? It might be. Yeah, it's a little stuck. Hold on. Watch out. So, Bubba, after you're done making your hot chocolate, you need to empty this. Otherwise, it gets... See? Okay. So, I'm guessing Adam took it out because it gets sticky. Okay. All right. There you go. Now. So, hey, guys. I'm going to make it myself today. It's going to be really good. You guys, Adam mowed our lawn, and the boys set up our couches that are out Hey, there. mommy, why are you not YouTubing me? <laughs> why am I not YouTubing you? I just was. You making hot chocolate, and you left it there. Do you YouTube me? Good. All right, that's enough. But a hot chocolate. That's enough. Close it now. No. Oh, uh, well. And put it back where it's supposed to go. What? The marshmallows. These? The marshmallows. Why are you being so hard headed today? I don't Let know. Let me get you some milk so it's not hot. Okay, you need to be the very milk. No, you can take it yourself. I didn't make it. I don't want it. It's yours. Wait, I got my shoes on. 
There, take a hot chocolate. And you better drink it. I'm tired of you making hot chocolate just to eat the marshmallows. You understand me? Yes. I got my shoes all but I can go drink it. That's fine. You can go in there. Put it out my shoes. Yeah. That, now this just this I, one time. One time. Don't spill that, crew. Don't spill that. Hold that with two hands. Put it down and then get your own. And whose plate is that that left it in here? Wait. Adam, mm. I think. Go ahead. Get your coaster. Coaster. Mm-hmm. Did you put milk in it? Yes, I did. Yeah. I drink it. Mm-hmm. How can I drink the marshmallows? Let me just get my throat. Try. Nothing not happening. Do you see how it just turned red? That means it's recording. Because you can click the record button from the tripod. So for instance, if the camera is all the way like this, and I don't want to keep clicking record and not record, I could just click the... Hey guys, it is Wednesday now. And it is evening. I think it's like, what, 6 o'clock? What time is it? Yeah, about to be 6. Yeah, I've just been editing all day. My hair is bothering me, so don't mind me. But I've been... Not editing, sorry. I've been trying to upload my vlog, but for some reason it takes like an hour, two hours just for it to like export from Final Cut. Then it takes like another hour for me to upload it. It's been annoying, but that's all I've been up to today. I picked a crew up from school. I went live today on TikTok for the first time. If you were there, you were there. If you weren't, you should follow me on TikTok so you can be there next time. But we had an idea about what I should do every time I go on live to like have some content. So I'm going to tell Adam my idea now because it involves him. <laughs> yes. So I'm recording this because if I don't end up doing it, just know he was the only one to blame. <laughs> they want me to go live once a week. On TikTok. Yes, on TikTok. The idea is we do a mukbang. We'll have mics on so they can hear like the... <laughs> Did you do it? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah? Did yeah. you do a little lies with me? Mm-hmm. This is the agreement. You're shaking on it. Wait, shake on it. Yeah. yeah. Ow! Sorry. <laughs> okay, well you guys heard it here from the man himself. That's what we'll be doing. I mean, if by the time I post this, we should have already have done it. So now you know about it. We have a visitor. My phone is not working. <laughs> Your phone isn't working. Yeah, did you not work? Did you not work? Did you not work? Did you not Here you go. Your phone's fixed. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, What's uh, in your hand? Money. Oh, well, go put that in your room because you shouldn't be carrying money. Money's dirty. Mommy, but that, but you said that my money. It is your money, but it's still dirty. Good morning. Let me explain why I was missing yesterday and the day before. And you guys are going to laugh because, like, no way. You know that little Pilates bar class that I went to with Aiko? Um, thank you so much, Aiko. For having me I really appreciated the invite but let's just say if anyone ever invites me to another bar Pilates class I will happily and politely decline the next day after the class I think I took her to school because it was Wednesday took her to school fine dropped Adam off at work fine cool got home went upstairs and I laid down in bed like on my laptop to edit. I got out of bed y'all and I could not move. Like my legs were in so much pain. And I'm like, that's strange. You would think if I was gonna be in pain, I would have woke up with the pain the next day. But it didn't happen till like midday, which I guess if you think about it, that's like a full day, like 24 hours after the class happened that I started to feel pain, right? So I'm like, hmm, weird. The whole day my legs are just in pain like I literally just couldn't walk I just stayed in bed editing and like watching YouTube videos and paternity court so that was Wednesday okay then yesterday was Thursday I woke up even more pain I literally was like wobbling 
around the house because I had to eat, I had to shower, I had to do all those things, you know? So I'm really wobbling around the house, but thank you, Lord, for Adam because he really took over the household yesterday because I could not move, you guys. Like, it's not even funny. I cannot move. And then today, my legs are still sore like by the way when i say sore i mean like yesterday if i if you even touched my leg like let's say you just touched it with your finger like this sore pain okay romy jumped on me and you guys know how small and tiny romy is i doubt he even weighs like three pounds okay he jumped on me pain i literally almost booted my dog across the room like it hurt so bad so because of that i literally did nothing yesterday like i just said i stayed in bed i took a bubble bath with epsom salt to try and like relax the muscles and stuff adam even tried to like massage it with his hands with a gun everything you guys like it just hurt so bad i was even like literally on the verge of tears when he was trying to massage my legs because it hurt so much like i kept like flinching and yelling and screaming it was bad so that's why I literally didn't vlog the last two days because I was bedridden. But today is Friday. You guys can't really tell, but I'm in gym attire because after I leave the library, I'm at the library, and after I leave the library, I'm going to go to the gym and get a workout in. Not a workout, sorry. <laughs> Whoa, let me rephrase. I'm going to go stretch. I'm literally going to go stretch my legs. We have like a roller at home that you're supposed to like roll in your legs, but we cannot find it anywhere. Like, I don't know where Adam put it. So they have some at the gym. I'm just going to go use those. And then I'm probably going to do like an ab workout because I can lay down. So I can lay down and do some, some crunches or something. So I might do that. But we're at the library now, right now because I need to return the books that we got last week that crew already read. And then I also need to print out a paper, like a form, for crew's school next year. In the UK, you have to like apply your child for the school they want to go to like a year before. Even though they don't really start until September you know so we had to like basically fill out a form of the five like our top five schools that we were interested in having him attend and then on the 16th of april which was how many days ago like three days ago they had like a decision day and it's where everyone gets like a letter from the government i think or the council telling you like what school your child got into and crew got accepted to our top choice which is so amazing because me and adam actually went to the school to see it and the school itself amazing i am really excited that he got accepted to it i think that it's going to be an amazing transition for him i'm gonna go print out our acceptance form because like once you get accepted to the school you basically fill out a form to give back to the school to say we are going to accept your acceptance of us does that make sense like we're agreeing like he will be going here and it just like um solidifies your place there so i'm gonna go in the library print that out and then once we pick crew up from school later we're gonna actually take him to the school to go see it himself this time and turn in that slip let me stop talking because it's 10 30 and i still need to hit the gym go home and shower before it's time to pick crew up so let's get it done just left the library i got crew some new books to read for the week since he's at school but i wasn't able to print off the slip that i needed like which is the whole reason i even went there because you have to have like cash on you to put into a machine to be able to print i thought i'd be able to use contactless and i don't know why i thought that because libraries are definitely still like old school back in the day type places you know what I mean like they haven't really upgraded much <laughs> since they've opened I guess yeah I'm gonna have to like come back after I pick crew up from school now I am at little because I'm about to go grab some halloumi so I can have that for breakfast I don't know if halloumi is considered something you should be eating for breakfast but I don't know I was craving it that's what I want so that's what I'm gonna have <laughs> Did y'all just see me make 100% freshly squeezed orange juice? They have a freshly squeezed orange juice machine in there. And y'all, I don't even like orange juice, right? 
but i'm looking at this this doesn't even have pulp in it at least it doesn't look like it right i think it might be a different story when i try it keep refrigerated store bright shake well before serving consume within 24 hours i watched the machine pump the oranges into this juice bottle if this tastes as good as it should because it's 100 percent orange juice best believe they had like a bigger bottle that was like five five pounds i will come each week i will spend five pounds to fill up an entire orange juice bottle for adam and crew to drink this i'm not really a big fan of orange juice y'all but they do like they like it i like apple juice and we buy apple juice almost every day and they drink it all because we just love juice in our family we've been trying to be healthier and not drink like processed juices or juices with a lot of sugars so in our house we drink apple juice but if i found a solution for them to have freshly squeezed orange juice that is healthy for them and they like it and it tastes good i will come back each week and get this Look. Creek. Mm. Same nigga breaking down hoes left and right. Yo, I was counting up in on a private flight. Yo, I just chrome on my body like a medieval knight. Mm. I was fucking up a sack on that purple sprite. Yeah, all my bitches beneficial, even tow the pistol. Yeah, even blow like a whistle. A lot of officials. Uh, I trip it down in crystals if I know you're real. Uh, How you geeking out your body off a of pink pill? I caught your line, tell me, and I fuck with you still. Yeah. So many properties I bought, I'm peeing at a hill. Yeah. Fuck, nigga, need to learn his place before we put him in it. Yo, yeah. stepping and swinging, I'm running shit. I might run for Senate. Huh. I got a bitch up in the kitchen wearing them coochie cutters. Yeah. Been my doggy out that cell, straight up out the gutter. Sweet, been them niggas. Every sex position needed feeling And I fear I didn't see it It was just me and Dylan It was just me and Justin Gripping her hair while she taught me Might give her concussion I don't like discussions I'm too rich for fussing Look her dead in my eyes And how that pussy bustin' I ain't never cuffin' Bring my corner, baby doggy Socked out still Yeah, baby daddy broke No need for him to ride her wheel I put paint on my nails Bitches fucking steal It's so money in my bank That I'm spinning steel Lifestyle shit get twisted I've been living shady I've been being up that side like I'm Devin Haney I don't need a rap friend, I'm a step solo I try anything once the lifestyle yellow I don't wanna be posted on the blogs I don't wanna answer calls Back home, the stretching session was good. My legs are still sore. I did end up doing bike for five minutes after with a really high um, watt level so that it makes it really hard to push down and that way I could feel my legs stretching as I like pedaled. Um, so I did that and now I'm home. I picked up Adam. My hair is sticking up. What's going on here? I picked up Adam and we are home now. But I was telling, yep. I was telling him about <clears throat> this orange juice, and he's like, "Oh, one hundred percent orange juice!" He's so excited. So we're gonna try it now. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Oops. Okay. Let's try it. I'm not making any. <laughs> Let's hope the oranges were sweet. They were a bit sour. It tastes just like it's oranges, guys. I like it. And I'm not even a big orange juice person. And it does have a little bit of pulp in it. We've seen just a little bit, but. It's all right. They were a little bit sour, though. They weren't very sweet. Y'all, it literally tastes like you mm. were to squeeze an orange and put it yeah. in a cup. It tastes so good. I like, I prefer this more than the orange juice that comes yeah, in Yeah, because it's fresh. It's, yeah. It's, I'm going to put it in the fridge. Maybe it'll taste better, better the longer, uh, yeah, like if it's cold and stuff, you know? Sit, yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. I also got my halloumi from the store, as y'all seen. I'm about to make this now because I haven't had anything to eat and I'm hungry. Me too. Stop doing that. <laughs> Babe, we haven't got time for this. we got to pick up crew, man. Babe, I have 20 minutes. Yeah. To be there. Yeah, 20 minutes. See, I've got the night bell. Sit it in there. Oh, no, I don't care about that. Yep, that's all you do. Look, you need to let it sit. <gasps>
I brought my food with me because we have to pick crew up from school and then go to the library and then go to his new school. So I'm eating in the car. Mm -mm, so good. How good? So good. Stop eyeing my halloumi. Yo, I already gave face. him. I already gave him two. Yeah, but come on, Sharon's caring. Who said I care? To share. You should. Should and do is two different things. I haven't had breakfast. This is my breakfast, and you're like eating off my breakfast. That one doesn't look so good. Let me see that mm. one. Delicious. No, that, that one. This one. Mm. Let me try it. Nah, I didn't mean that one. I'll try them all, let you know how they are. I can try it for you. I don't mm. need to get poisoned. No, it's okay. Mm. I'd rather poison myself than poison you from eating my food, you know what I mean? No, it's okay. I don't mind. I know, but I mind. <laughs> <laughs> she really insists. Oh, thank you. Why are you trying to put it? Why don't you bite it? Because why are you not biting it? No more. All right, let's go. I'll help you. We need to speed up. We need to speed up. <clears throat> oh, don't worry. Why are you double? <laughs> we need to speed up, babe. But if you don't back up for my food. <laughs> See? I saw you in my guy, you know. My girl. What you eating, crew? Tell the people. Chocolate. I don't want to eat it. Milky bar. Milky bar. Mm -hmm. Crew, you need to tell everyone how your day was at school. I need your help this time. I need your help this time. Please. Please. Careful, don't drop it. Who need to tell them how your day was at school? Good. What did you do? Floyd with my friend that ate and ate. And it was really little book, but I didn't want it to listen to it. I was just listening to myself. Why? I didn't like it. Oh, uh, what was it about? I did pencils about and color. It was about a book about pencils? Yes. Oh, who was reading it? Oh, some kind of girl. Some kind of girl? Yeah. Who, the teacher? Hmm? No. No? The teacher Holly was not here today. Oh, she wasn't there. No. So what did you do uh, instead of reading the book? Look at myself. Hmm? Look at myself. <laughs> looking at yourself? How are you looking at yourself? Looking at the floor. Oh, really? I guess what I got. What did you get? A new Peppa Pig book. That's cool, man. Yeah. So who are you playing with today, then? Which, nobody. Which friends? Nobody. And we're not playing with nobody. Why? Just Ruben. Just Ruben? Ruben is good. Oh, so Ruben's your friend now? Yeah. I thought you said uh, that you weren't getting along with him last time. How? Wasn't that the same boy that you said was rude? Or naughty? Kyron. Oh, that's Kyron? Yeah. Not Ruben Nichols? Nope. Oh. And who was your other friend as well? Kyron Theo. Kyron? So Kyron is your friend? No, he's not my friend. I just say to him, he's he your bad kid. He's your baba, he's your bad kid. No, you shouldn't say people are bad kids, man. No, those are the only people who are bad. Uh. And the one more, he's bad. Who? You know, but you're going to find out when you get there that time. Who's your other friend, Hyson? Is that another friend? 
How did you know that? You told me last time. How? I was, I did it. I did it now. You mean a guy party? No, you told me in um in the living room. Um, I I go. I didn't. I don't remember. Oh, Bye, yeah. guys. See you next time. <laughs> oh God. Are you done? Yes. Oh God. That's like hello. Oh. Not bye. Okay, adios. Adios. I don't want Peppa Pig anymore, no baby. Oh, you don't? <laughs> you don't like Peppa Pig anymore? No. I thought you did. Why? What? I don't know, I just thought you liked I Peppa Pig I just wanted Peppa Pig a long time ago. I just don't like it anymore. You don't like it anymore? I so I did got a baby book. Oh, what do you like now then? We better. Avengers. Yes. We just left crew school, so he's gonna tell you what he thought about it. Okay, it was really fun. It's just a very good fun called more paint. I mean, I did the library. Yeah, at school. And that was so fun. I find it good. Yeah, I got some stuff in the ball pit. That was so fun. When I was trying, that was so fun. Play to be a flower. I pretended to be a firefighter was so fun. Yeah? Yeah. So what's better, your nursery or your new school? I do go. The crew really liked his new school. He was literally running around having so much fun. They gave us another tour so that he could see it. The teachers really loved him. The principal, or what would you call him? Headmaster? Head, head teacher. Head teacher really liked him. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday and we're still vlogging. We are about to film a mukbang for TikTok since Adam agreed to do the TikTok channel where we do a mukbang ASMR. So we're mic'd up. We got the food ready. I made jalapeno poppers. This is going to be his first time having them. And this is the first time I've ever made them as well. So we're going to do a mukbang. I'll link our TikTok down below if you want to follow us. I'm not going to be like promoting it that often. I kind of want to just see if it blows on its own on TikTok by us posting. But since I'm talking about it right now, if you guys do want to go follow it, it'll be linked down below. We also have some packages at the front door that I will be showing y'all once we're done. And I have a package upstairs that I meant to open like two days ago, but my camera died and then I totally forgot about it. So I'll show you guys that as well. Okay, so we finished filming the mukbang and it was so good. And then right now I'm eating an apple and I'm making more because they were so good but i'm trying like a different pepper because the jalapeno peppers that i use oh my gosh there's so many bugs outside our window it's like getting hot slash cold outside but the bugs are like trying to come inside our house because it's warm in here it's nasty but anyways um the jalapeno peppers you can't just buy those at any market so i had to go to like a special market and they had to like order it for me so we ran out of them so i'm gonna have to order more call them and order more but adam's bringing over the suitcases this is one of the packages that i was saying we got that was on the front door it's from flight night and they are a um suitcase company let's open this we will be doing a lot of traveling this summer like to newcastle to um london and out of the country as well and so we needed some new suitcases because all of our other ones are either like somewhat broken or beat up <laughs> or just not good quality and so flight night gifted us suitcases for the entire family so thank you so much to them i will link them down below because i actually reached out to them you guys i loved their suitcases and they were like yeah we'll gift you some for your family's holiday this suitcase is beautiful look at it it's like a hard shell suitcase and then on the side it's got two locks so there's no zipper on this suitcase at all it's just locks and then they are tsa approved i know that i did my research actually it even says tsa on here We're upstairs in my office actually because there was a lot going on downstairs so i just felt like it was so messy in our kitchen because crew had his like race car track that he just got that adam got for him all set up in the living room i'm talking i can still hear him because he's loud 
just a lot it was a mess down there as well so we're in my office which my office is also a mess but you can see less of it i'll show you that more into detail in a second and then you'll actually see me like using it once we start traveling um but thank you to flight night for sending us those once again i will link them down below because the suitcases are cute but now i'm gonna show y'all what i got in this package i can't even show you the box because it has my actually there you go it has my address on both sides but i got a package pr package from hero so they sent me their bright eyes illuminating eye cream and i'm so excited for this because it has this stainless steel tip on it which apparently adds like a cooling effect when you apply it they've also sent the dissolve away daily cleansing balm so i'm guessing this is to take off your makeup Ooh, they sent the under eye patches okay the radiant skin stick glow balm i'm also excited for this i seen someone else trying that out as well you like wipe it all over your face for like moisture love that and then ooh, the mighty patches my favorite product from them that i've tried out because these actually work i don't know if y'all seen earlier i had a star blemish patch on my face earlier those like work they're like all right i would say they're good for like how the price they are you know but these work like magic so what is going on with my hair and then lastly they sent oh some more mighty patches oh these are the invisible ones oh love that i'm gonna post a little picture of it on instagram real quick okay i just finished taking my instagram story oh my gosh i need to clean up this office so bad i want to like reorganize it so that every corner of my office has a purpose like i do my makeup on this wall by the way i moved my entire office i don't even think i told y'all that but my vanity used to be sitting right here in front of my window i've moved it to the wall over here but i want to like make sure that every corner has like a rhyme and reason i gotta figure it out but i just realized i had other gifting that i didn't show you guys so when i went to the ico event on tuesday they also gifted us a bunch of products so i want to show you what we got i did get a water bottle but it's downstairs but you would have seen it in the clips where i was working out I already opened this product which you guys would have seen but it is the limitless eyeshadow palette look at those colors they also gifted us a long wear pencil eyeliner a brow gel that says stronghold i needed a new one so that's perfect timing a limitless mascara and she actually told us like a little trick with this is that you're supposed to like rub it in between your hands to warm up the tube and then apply so i'm actually going to try that out and see if it makes it easier then this is also a, another mascara but in brown which i really like brown lashes oh yeah by the way can we not talk about how my eyelashes have been falling out all week <laughs> then oh i did not see this in here otherwise i probably would have ate it by now they gave us a little cookie a vibe protein bar i'm guessing this was gonna be useful day of the workout totally didn't see that in there this is the last thing that was in there a scrunchie from mls i think that's how you pronounce it silk scrunchie i will be sleeping in this every night thank you so much i needed a scrunchie that wouldn't crease my hair and then obviously we got to keep these little totes so that was really cute another gifting i didn't show you was the new look which items i ended up picking out i picked out a total of six items this first item you all already seen it on me it was those black and brown pants that i said were so cute i've never had anything like this before but they looked so classy on me and i loved them so much that i also got them in the white color with the it was a black belt i also got this top i thought this top looked so cute it was so simple but like detailed do you know what i mean like i love the stripes i love the shape of it the cut so nice on me and it was very flattering the striped sweater that i had over my shoulders now this sweater is cute to even throw on so if it does get chilly i can always just put the sweater on but i really liked the way it looked over my shoulders i did not steal this but this is in my bag i'm pretty sure they gifted this to us i just did not notice it was in there is it from new look that's what i'm looking for just to make sure oh yeah it's from new look oh my gosh i was freaking out for a second like i did not steal this perfume i don't remember anyone giving it to me why is it in the bag but i'm guessing they put it in the bag when they gift like wrapped up my stuff so thank you so much for that oh wait let me show you the rest of the items i picked out i'm getting sidetracked come on chandler all right the next thing i picked out was this beautiful 
brown pleather bag i just thought this bag looked so classy with my new style i'm trying to implement and then the last item that i picked out was this hat how gorgeous is this i got it for vacation because i know that we will be vac vacationing somewhere hot we always do every year because it's cold here throughout the year so when it's time to vacation we always want to get somewhere warm but i tried it on in the store and like look at me obviously i had makeup on the day of i was trying it on it looked a lot better but just with some glasses as well this is gorgeous those are all of the items i got from new look i think i've shown you guys all the gifting let me show you these suitcases now these are all of the suitcase sizes the smallest ones are down here you can see they're significantly smaller this is the medium one and this is the large to be honest i would probably say that this large one is kind of what i think would usually be like a medium um and the medium is like a small slash medium is what i would say but the inside is very spacious on all of them i'm gonna show you with this one i gotta take this into the hallway there's no space in my office right now for me to lay this out so when i said there was no zippers on these suitcases i was so serious there's absolutely no zipper it's just these locks and there's three of them there's a button down here that you just click and it pops up you have the left side of the suitcase which is open this is the side that i usually put like my shoes and my like accessories and all that kind of stuff on this side and then in the middle but kind of to the left because it swings to the left you have this flap and it's got a zipper which i like to use for like my brushes my toothbrush all that kind of stuff and it look at this it clips on to this side so you're separating the clothes on this side versus that side let me show y'all that's so nice i also use like organizers when i pack so none of my stuff will fly over because there'll be an organizer so i really like that and then on this side you have another open space for more items and it also comes with the straps to keep everything nice and tight in there so i really like these it's nice and open space i love the chrome color on the outside which really got me i think it's so elegant so elevated love this and i'm happy that my whole family has like matching ones now i've also opened up the small one to show you as well but it's literally the exact same thing as the big one like there's no other compartments on it it's the same exact thing but it's just smaller but i love this i think these are going to be so much fun to travel with this summer and i'm really excited to like decorate them. i want to put like stickers on them of the different locations we've traveled to so stay tuned because i will show that in a vlog soon definitely before we travel because we're going to need to know whose suitcase is whose without having to open them and find out <laughs> anytime you see me with this headband on just know my hair is a mess that needs to be sorted out it is sunday and a lot has happened <laughs> not really it's been such a chill day we went to the park we had some ice cream. We've been cleaning the house today. I've been doing laundry, putting away clothes. And then I've also been like trying to organize this office. I'm about to clean my windows because I just noticed they're kind of dirty. But whoever recommended that I use these pillowcases that I got off TikTok shop that were supposed to be silk and were not silk as um, cleaning rags thank you because that was such a smart idea i was like why i was gonna just literally throw them away or like donate them but i didn't even want to donate them because i was like these are bad for your skin bad for your hair like why would i want someone else to have to go through that do you know what i mean i don't want to be the cause of someone's distress you know what i mean but when you were like use it as a cleaning rag i was like oh hell yeah so i'm about to clean my windows with method and this we went to the park for a little bit not really i always tell crew i'm not a park mom i think you guys have heard him say it in a few vlogs like i am not a park mom it's just not my forte i don't like it i don't like the park i never was like a park kid when i was younger it just never really fascinated me so now to be a mom of a child who loves to go to the park and for me as an adult like to just stand around it bores me so much like i can't do it so adam usually takes crew to the park but he tricked me y'all he tricked me he called me on facetime and the ice cream truck was there and he was like do you want some ice cream and i was like of course 
came outside as soon as he got me the ice cream he ran inside the house so i had to be outside with crew i will say it was like more tolerable because i had the ice cream but y'all there was like two older kids there because like most of the kids there were like older and then the two young, there was like two young kids but their mom was with them so she got them ice cream actually no there was like a few young kids but they all had their parents there and like the parents got them ice cream and then there were some older kids who had like money on them where they ran home to get money to get ice cream but there was these two older kids that their parents weren't there and then they did, i'm guessing they didn't have money because the boy who was a little bit younger than the sister um he started crying because obviously he wanted ice cream but he couldn't get any so i was like no kid left behind i'm gonna get them some ice cream so i got both of them some ice cream as well we all enjoyed our ice cream it was a pretty hot day outside today and then after that the kids all came to our backyard to play like some it was how many one two three four five kids in our backyard playing they had like a water gun fight you know having fun they just left so that's why i'm vlogging now but i'm literally going to use the rest of my day today to finish laundry like i'm cleaning our sheets right now and organizing this office space because i really want this done like i want to be able to come in here more often and get work done sit at my desk and be editing or whatever do you know what i mean but i feel like i can't do that because of how unorganized it is in here right now so that's what we're gonna vlog for today try to get this done hours hours later i'm about to head to bed it's 10 30 or 11 i think it just turned 11 and i'm about to head to bed because i've been going to bed so much early earlier and i also have a new video coming out after this one which is about me waking up at 5 45 in the morning to go to the gym to do an hour walk and every day of the week i'm going to be doing an hour walk and i'm just vlogging my experience of like waking up early again going to the gym every day and seeing what change it has on my body because I am trying to lose weight and get back into shape because I'm way out of it but I'll go into more detail about that in that video. For now I want to end this video by showing you the somewhat progress I made on my office today. This is what this wall is looking like. Mind you my walls are very bare because I film content in here and I haven't really decided like permanently where I want things to go and when I film I need like blank walls at least until I get like some artwork that I think looks good in the background of those kind of like aesthetically pleasing videos but for now my walls are pretty bare except for this one which has the poster of me and crew that I hung because I know I will never film on this wall not only is it behind my door but I also dry my laundry on this um, radiator that's here so I can hang stuff here I know I will never use this wall but back over here I've got my vanity and my chair and then over here I've got like my filming backpack and some stuff in there my filming equipment I think I'm gonna have in this corner I'm not sure I haven't really like permanently decided yet but that's where it is for now and then over here this is where I'm thinking of using to film my videos for now I don't know y'all I really I guess I haven't really permanently decided anything yet and then over here is where I will be having my like setup for my PR boxes or any UGC content I need to create. This is the little stool that I usually sit it on with this tree in the background. So for now I'll just pile all my like gifting and stuff over here. This is the gifting you guys already seen and then in here is um, like all the stuff you've seen me open in the past that I haven't opened yet like products that I haven't opened yet because I don't need them yet like makeup products <laughs> they're all in this box and then we have ooh, and then over here in the corner we have my mirror and I think this is perfect because if I am filming behind me I can still see my outfit like in this this is not a cute outfit I have on right now but I can still see my outfit in this mirror I'm also thinking of putting like shelving in somewhere in this room and I also need to get like a vanity mirror to put on my vanity but I just don't know which one I want to put yet I've also had a few companies offer to gift me one but I still like I said I don't really know the look 
that I want to go. I don't know if I really want to even turn it into a full on vanity desk because I do want to be able to work at my desk as well. But I don't want to put two desks in here. So if you guys have any solutions for that, please let me know. Like maybe I should mount a vanity mirror instead on this wall. That way I can still have more free space on the actual desk to work. I don't know. I don't know. But that is where we're going to end things off. I am already ready for bed. I've had tea for bed tonight. I've had dinner. I made chocolate cake. Today's my mom's birthday, by the way. So mom, if you see this, happy birthday again. But we called her earlier and wished her happy birthday. But yeah, I made chocolate cake just because it was my mom's birthday. Even though she didn't get to taste it, we ate it for her. So we celebrated it for her. But yeah, that's everything for today. I love you guys. Crew's already asleep, so it's my turn now. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye!